Hello, my name is Larry Pontua Brown. I am an artist and I'm also the sponsor of the Creative Quarantine Be More, our second one that we've actually done in the city of Baltimore, where we invite regional artists, whether they be from DC, uh, Prince George's County, or right here in Baltimore, to participate in a week in lock in. Now, that's not what you normally think. We've done the Creative Quarantine Project started in 2006, where we started professional artists locking ourselves away for three weeks of continuous work and a exhibition on the fourth week. The weekend gives you kind of a flavor of what would happen on a longer period of time. So we had a great group of artists, most of them were emerging, maybe one was a mid-career and, and one established artist. So it's a good mix of talent in the room, good vibes, good people, and the weekend went really, really fast. So what you're gonna hear are gonna be exit interviews from each artist, what they learned, um, what, what the quarantine meant to them. For me, I, uh, me and my partner, Charles Bibbs, first envisioned this project to be uh, a think tank for artists, a place where artists could sit down and really just be creative. Because we're all bogged down in our schedules, we've got our lives. The question that was, uh, um, was offered, well, when was the last time you had a, a concentrated time to do a body of work? And even one of us could think, we could only think back to college days, right? So this, that's how it started. And then we tried to figure out when to do it. And so we chose January as the month to do our quarantines because that's normally after Christmas. Not a lot of many, many shows are planned that period of time. And we, we anticipate less distractions in January. I have been physically doing a personal quarantine ever since 2006, whether I have an organized group of artists or not in my personal studio. January is lockdown. So I just did a quarantine back in January, and this is an extension of that. I'm partnering with uh, Wendell Supreme Shannon, a uh, younger artist here that I've been mentoring, and so we decided to put this together, and we uh, attracted eight artists, which is a good number for us. The space that we were in may have accommodated 10, but eight was good enough for us to have a little breathing room to be able to talk. I had two artists that worked overnight, Saturday night. Uh, everybody was given the right to go home and, and, and reset, because normally a true quarantine, we have housing worked out where they can actually sleep on site and create all around the clock if they want to. So enjoy the interviews, enjoy the art, and we hope you will participate with us one time real soon. Thank you. My name is Dayana Ali. This is my first creative quarantine and it's something I really wanted to participate in because I feel like I never have time to do art and this was a good way to just block out everything else and just dive into being creative. I got to meet a lot of new people. I got to see a lot of different creative like styles and how everyone else approaches art and I think that was really like a good thing to see because no two people are alike when it comes to art and it's just it was a free environment to just kind of do you and get feedback from other people, which is important when you're trying to figure out like what people want to see in your vision and what you want to like, put out there. Um, what I need to work on, I would say, is time management, of course, because this was good for creating, but I know I won't have this every weekend, so art is something I definitely want to factor into my time. Hi, my name is James Lowry. Um, my experience at the Creative Quarantine was a very um, mind-opening experience. Um, I enjoyed the energy from the other artists. I've learned a lot. Um, and uh, I've also learned a lot from Larry Poncho Brown as well. Um, I feel like that the uh, Creative Quarantine, the, it should be more. We should have more of these things because it it helps uh, up and coming artists like me to um, help find themselves in a sense. And um, I feel like my art has grown. I'm actually excited to get home and start working on some new pieces and use all of the energy, all of the things that I've learned from the other artists on my work. I'm going to have some fresh new work coming out, and it's going to be great, man. I'm I'm super excited. Hi, I'm Mandela Brown. This is my first creative quarantine. Um, I had a dope experience being around all of these different artists and trying to soak up their energy and uh, put their energy on my paper or canvas or you know however I wanted to 
portray uh, the ideas that were dancing around in my mind. Um, I tried to bounce out of my usual acrylic and collage format medium, and I wanted to try watercolor. Um, I learned a bunch of different things about watercolor, and uh, I learned about you know the importance of uh, the choices and materials you use uh, through the journey. So it was definitely a learning experience for the most part. Um, I also learned that um, when you're surrounded by people with like minds, you tend to do more. You're capable of more. You know, um, two minds are better than one. And we had five or six different minds in here, all being creative, all expressing their talents the best way that they could. And when I walk away from this experience, I will have uh, a bunch of different ideas in my mind that I got from these guys. So this was a great experience. If you are an aspiring artist, if you are a beginner, if you're an, a, a, a seasoned uh, artist that's been doing it for decades, um, this is a great experience for you nonetheless. And I pray that there's one soon again. Good afternoon, my name is Artlesia Bibbs, and I've had a wonderful experience here at the Artist Quarantine here at Larry Punchel Brown Studios. Um, I learned a lot, um, shading, color, um, collaborating with other artists here in the local um, area has been an amazing experience for me, um, and I look forward to participating in another one. What I learned here at the quarantine is working outside the box and trying new mediums is an awesome way to explore new uh, ways of expressing yourself. Um, glow in the dark, paint for one, was a new experience for us and we had a wonderful experience going into different studios and seeing um, pieces that were already done and being surprised by the illumination under purple light. So it was great and I'm looking forward to making some soon. How's it going? This is Blue Robin here, and I'm going to give you a little bit about what happened this past weekend at the quarantine and how it tremendously affected um, my growth and how I'm going to kind of shape the next phase of my career. Um, it's deep, so I'm taking a second to let it breathe. Uh, just being in a space with like minds and other creatives where we're forced to just really dig and really let our art be what it is, not necessarily stressing about trying to get a piece done for a show or a commission, just creating for creation's sake, is what a lot of us artists actually need. So for me, being in a space to just being able to vibe off of other artists some just starting, some who are seasoned. Um, really helps me to kind of stay in the path and reminds me of why I'm doing this. Just being open to experiment and taking what I already do now and flipping it on its head and trying to deconstruct it and reconstruct it in a new light, in a new way. Detra Bell, DC born artist. And I'm here at the Creative Quarantine, which has just finished up. But I'd like to say that this has been one of the most rewarding experiences I've ever had in my life. Now, how do you speak about something that has been so fulfilling and completed a lot of what I needed? I have been struggling with color. As much as I love color, I've been in color for all my life, I had come to a block where I didn't understand how to add color to the masks and the sculptures that I create. It's a done deal now. The energy with the other artists has been more than phenomenal. Just sharing that kind of space with artists for a weekend. And I might add that I was a, not able to come as much as I wanted to for a couple of reasons. Things happened, but you know what? I didn't miss a beat. Poncho is phenomenal. The other artists are phenomenal. And this is something that I will carry back home with me. And one of the major things I got of it, I have all these years only listened to dings and chimes and uh, American Indian flutes. I came in, the jazz and the music that Poncho was playing, my life changed right then. 
And what I didn't get to do, it's already within me. Everything is coming out. This has been phenomenal. Don't miss it if you don't, if you have the opportunity to deal with something like this. My name is Wendell Supreme Shannon, and I'm the co-host of The Creative Quarantine with Larry Poncho Brown. This year we had the amazing opportunity of bringing artists from all walks of life, uh, different regions of you know, the states, to come together and collaborate, learn from one another, and create beautiful works of art. I was blessed with the opportunity to learn and teach at the same time with other artists um, who have different methods, use different materials, different processes in order to create works of art that I was able to apply to my own work. Um, I feel like that's an important factor because artists get stuck in a box, so to speak, where they only stick to what they know and how they know to do it. Um, by adding camaraderie, artists are able to learn other tricks of the trade, um, more so knowledge and skill throughout the art business, which is vital. Uh, it, it prevents everyone from being stuck and repeating the same cycle, finding new clientele and just overall learning 